Hiya folks, it's Antar and I'm back with a new PBR random Wi-Fi battle. I know that PBR battles have been few and far between, and I'm really sorry about that, uh, but I promise they will keep coming, at least until the Gen 5 Wii game comes out. But anyway, this is using my new OU Sandstorm team, and uh, I lead off to, uh, with Tyranitar to get the Sandstorm up, but I'm going to call him back because I almost certainly don't outspeed his Breloom, and that Breloom is probably a Spore Puncher, which is not good for my T-Tar. Uh, so anyway, indeed, he's got the Spore part of the Spore Puncher, and I send him my Flygon um, to take it, uh, because I don't really think he can do anything to my Flygon. Um, so this is an, an interesting Breloom set in that it's not running um, Toxic or Poison Heal, uh, so I don't know, really know what the deal is about that, but um, I look over my moveset and try to figure out what to use against this guy in case I do wake up, and I go, I decide to go for the Fire Blast, um, but he decides not to stay in, he pulls back his um, Flygon and sends out an Infernate. Uh, interesting, all his guys have foreign names. Um, not sure how you do that, because I'm pretty sure if you trade it over, uh, it gives him the English name, or if, you know, if you're a foreign person, it gives him the English names, but whatevs. Uh, now that he's got an Infernape out, I'm obviously not going to want to Fire Blast him. Uh, but luckily I haven't moved yet since I've been asleep, and uh, I was really happy that Choice Scarf didn't make me use the move that didn't happen because I was asleep. Uh, anyway, I go ahead and use Earthquake um, with my Choice Scarf, and I one-hit KO his Panferno, his Infernape. So that's pretty awesome. And I've taken down one of his guys, and um, I'm kind of curious about who his third guy is. Um, but I'm not going to get a chance to find out right away, because out goes his Breloom. Um, and I'm locked into Earthquake, so I'm just going to get some damage off on him. I don't think it's going to KO, especially considering he resists it. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I get scored, and I'm back to sleep. Uh, so I consider what to do, um, and I decide... I'm actually not sure what I decide. We're about to see. Anyway, he sends in his third guy, which is uh, a Haunch Pro, and yeah, I just stay in, um, because I don't have any guarantee that he's going to play by Sleep Claws. Um, not everyone does. Uh, so anyway, seeing that his third Pokemon was Haunch Pro, I feel confident in sending out my uh, third Pokemon, which is uh, Magnezone, nicknamed Roomba, who can resist all of his attacks, and yeah, I'm not going to fear too much. Um, you know, though he can't really do any damage to me. Um, I could go for the Substitute because I doubt he could break it, um, or I could go for the Thunderbolt and just KO, um, or I could predict the switch and go for the Hidden Power Fire. I choose the third option. Um, so yeah, he calls back his Cram Chef, his uh, Haunch Pro, and sends out Breloom, and he's about to get a nasty surprise. I predicted that quite well. Hidden Power Fire to the face, and that kills him. So that is completely awesome that I've taken down his um, Breloom, and I'm not going to have to worry. And now, he, you know, he's got nothing to do against me with his Haunch Crow, and this match is basically over. I go ahead and Thunderbolt for the super effective hit, and that's going to be enough to one-hit KO. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that short little battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and I've got like 15 seconds left of narration.